Largest Prison Sentence for NFL Players Before we start, I don't want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Sportstastic. Here are the largest prison sentence for NFL players. Number 8, OJ Simpson, 33 years, potential 2017 parole. It's somewhat difficult to know where to place OJ Simpson in a piece of largest prison sentences for NFL players because we still aren't sure how much time Simpson will spend behind bars. One of the greatest running backs in history of the sport was famously found not guilty of murder at the conclusion of the so-called trial of the century, but he landed in court again in 2007 when he was accused of burglary and other crimes regarding an alleged incident that occurred in Las Vegas. Simpson was found guilty this time around and he received up to 33 years in prison for his involvement in the reported crime. It is, however, possible Simpson could be released from prison in the fall of 2017 if he's granted parole. How about we take two decades off and call you 70? In answering why he robbed his friend, memorabilia collector Bruce Vermong and another man in 2007, Simpson seemed... Number 7, Ray Carruth, 24 years. Ray Carruth was serving as a talented wide receiver for the Carolina Panthers when Sharika Adams, a woman he reportedly dated, was shot to death in November 1999. Adams was pregnant with Carruth's child at the time of the murder, and prosecutors argued Carruth had Adams murdered because she refused to have an abortion. The former player was found guilty of conspiracy to commit murder, and it was learned he was not the gunman of the night Adams was murdered. He was sentenced to roughly 24 years in prison, and it's believed he'll be released in the fall of 2018. Scott Fowler of the Charlotte News and Observer reported in October 2016 that Adam's grandmother will take Carew's son, who survived the shooting, to prison on the day the former players release. Number 6, Daryl Henley, 42 years. Years ago, ESPN's Shelly Smith wrote a fascinating and heartbreaking story about the rise and fall of Daryl Henley. Henley found success while playing football at UCLA, and he went on to become a defensive back for the Los Angeles Rams. Roughly six years after he entered pro football in the 1989 NFL Draft, Henley received a prison sentence of 20 years after he was convicted on drug charges. The story doesn't end there, however, as Henley was later found guilty of attempting to have both the sentencing judge and a witness murdered. Henley, who turned 50 years old in October in 2016, is expected to remain in prison through the spring of 2031. As Smith explained, Henley will be 65 when he is eligible for parole. Number 5, Robert Rozier, 25 years to life. This may be the strangest story featured in this piece about prison sentences handed down to NFL players. Rozier never founded stardom while playing in the NFL, and he eventually joined up with Yahoo Ben Yahoo's Brotherhood movement. Rozier admitted to killing seven individuals to please the black supremacist leader, but he was set free after serving roughly 10 years of his original sentence. Nearly three years after tasting freedom, the man remembered more so as a cult killer than an NFL star found himself in trouble again after he allegedly bounced checks. While such reported crimes are usually not worthy of lifetime prison sentences, his latest conviction came under California's third strike law for repeat offenders. Rozier received 25 years to life behind bars. Number 4, Eric Napowski, Life Without Parole Eric Napowski played linebacker during his few years in the NFL but he was never established himself as a noteworthy starter capable of landing a serious contract before he was out of the league. In July 2011, roughly 22 years after he last played it down in the NFL, Napowski was found guilty of murdering a man named William McLaughlin all the way back in 1994. Per reports, Napowski had a relationship with McLaughlin's girlfriend at the time the shooting occurred, and it was suggested the two were looking to cash in on an insurance claim once McLaughlin passed away. Napowski did not receive the death penalty, even though it's believed he was responsible for pulling the trigger. But he was given a sentence of life in prison without parole. Number 3, Aaron Hernandez, Life Without Parole Aaron Hernandez was one of the best tight ends in the NFL while starting for the New England Patriots during the 2012 season. Nobody could have guessed at the time all that would take place over the next five years. Hernandez was arrested and charged with murder, among other crimes, in the shooting death of Odin Lloyd in 2013, and he was eventually found guilty of killing a man once thought to be his friend. While serving a sentence of life in prison without parole, Hernandez faced murder charges regarding a double homicide that occurred in Boston back in the summer of 2012. 
While Hernandez was found not guilty of killing those two individuals in April 2017, he nevertheless reportedly hung himself later that month. He died at the age of 27. Number 2. Anthony Smith, 3 Life Sentences Anthony Smith was once known as a defensive lineman worthy of being selected with the first round NFL draft pick back in the spring of 1990. The number 11 pick of that draft class spent six total seasons with Los Angeles and Raiders before he retired, somewhat shockingly, in 1997. Two years after Smith walked away from the NFL, brothers Ricky and Kevin Nettles were kidnapped and murdered. In 2001, a man named Dennis Henderson was reportedly kidnapped and stabbed to death. It was not until 2015 that Smith was convicted of those murders, and it was suspected he may have been involved in a fourth homicide, even though a jury eventually failed to convict him. Regardless of that final case, Smith received three life sentences without parole. Number 1. Keith Wright, over 230 years Keith Wright served as a journeyman defensive lineman, even though he only played in the NFL a few seasons. He saw little playing time over a three-year period before he was out of the league for good. In August 2011, Wright was arrested regarding a trio of alleged robberies that occurred in the neighborhood of Sacramento, California. It was reported a handgun was used in each of those thefts. Per Associated Press and CBS Sacramento reportings, Wright was convicted of a variety of crimes, 19 in all, including armed robbery, kidnapping, first-degree burglary, false imprisonment, and forcible oral copulation. Wright received 114 years to life along with additional 120 years and 8 months, meaning he theoretically would not be eligible for parole until two centuries have passed. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next one.